Hello everyone and a very warm spring welcome uh, to our monthly uh, newsletter in which we provide a brief update of some of the health awareness events that are happening this month. Uh, my name is Sabine and I'm the Community Engagement Officer and I'm joined by Amanda, our Community Health Nurse. Welcome Amanda. Hi Sabine. As a Community Health Nurse you would be aware of the many health related topic, topics that are on this month in September and um, the Jean Hales Foundation as always has got a Women's Health Week in September from the 6th of the 10th of September this year um, and uh, it's dedicated to all women across Australia to yeah to focus on good health and well-being. Uh, what are some of the topics that they're discussing this year Amanda? Um, well, yeah, thanks, Sabine. Yes, Jean Hales does dedicate one week each year to women's health, um, and that is next week. Um, they have five topics that they're um, prioritising or raising over the week. Um, I think it kicks off with moving, so movement is important. Um, their sleep is covered, mental uh, or emotional and mental health and wellbeing. Um, Oh, tricky periods is another one that they're actually covering this this week or next week as well. Um, I urge all women to actually register on the Jean Hales uh, for Women website to receive their updates straight into their inbox um, each day on those uh, actual subjects. Or um, you'll have quizzes and other topics that they'll discuss. Um, yeah, it's no different. It's a really exciting week and prioritises women's health. Yeah, and they've got a lot of videos and yep. uh, speakers and things like that, haven't they? So, Definitely, yeah. Yeah, always interesting. It's a to, great resource. Yeah, always good to look at. Uh, and this month there's also a focus on women's mental health uh, by being at Lip Timber, as it's called. Uh, now, why is there this gender-specific focus on mental health, Amanda? Well, in the past, mental health has really focused on men's mental, mental health, so programs and services have all been based on that. Um, but then applied to women, it actually misses the mark, so it's, it needs to be gender specific. Um, with that lens placed on it, research becomes more accurate and support programs can experience a higher rate of success. Um, Lip Timber's priority is to improve the mental health of Australian women who take on a myriad of responsibilities, whether that's being a mother, a grandmother, sister, daughter, wife and partner. By improving the mental health of all Australian women, we can subsequently improve the overall health and, and well-being of the wider community. Yeah, very, uh, very important, isn't it? Like we seem to forget that mental health part that it is actually so different between men and women. Yeah. Mm. Um, now there's of course still continuing focus on men's health during September uh, as it is Blue September which focuses on all men's cancer and also Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. Can you tell us a little bit more about that please Amanda? Yes. So Blue September is a month dedicated to raising awareness of the risks of cancers that men actually experience. In Australia, I was surprised to learn that one in two Australian men will get cancer in their lifetime. That's 20% more men than women who will be touched by this terrible disease. Yeah, that's so lot. despite the statistics, men often tend to have a bad track record when it comes to looking after their own health. They actually need a bit of prompting. Um, so this campaign encourages men to stay diligent about their health and helps to raise funds for world-class research into the prevention, treatment, and ultimately cure for some of the most common cancers affecting men. Yes, yeah, we've got spring happening. It's good probably to go into that spring checkup and um, and do yeah. a bit of spring clean, uh, not just of the home and the garden, but yeah. also of our own body, isn't it? Now, Amanda, National Asthma Week is from the 1st to the 7th of September uh, and coming into spring and summer, um, asthma sufferers um, might experience some extra discomfort because of thunderstorm asthma. Uh, isn't that right, Amanda? Thunderstorm asthma refers to episodes of asthma symptoms which occur when high pollen levels are combined with a thunderstorm. So it appears that thunderstorm asthma requires very specific weather conditions to actually occur. The risk of thunderstorm asthma is highest in adults who are sensitive to grass pollen 
and have a seasonal hay fever with or without known asthma. The worst outcomes, unfortunately, are seen in people with poorly controlled asthma. So it's really important to have an asthma management plan. So see your asthma educator, GP, GP to get that in yep. place and yep. actually understand your condition. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't really aware of the thunderstorm asthma, but um, yeah, it's that kind of season, isn't it? Is there a certain season? Is it October uh, to Yes, December? well, definitely the season we're entering. So spring, yep. um, when there's lots of pollens, flowers in the air. Yeah, yep. yep, be aware of that. Uh, now we also have to take this opportunity again, Amanda, to talk about vaccinations. Uh, our community has absolutely been fantastic in rolling up their sleeves and getting vaccinated, but we, we're not there yet. Uh, now where can uh, the community get their vaccinations, Amanda? Yes, our community has certainly taken up the challenge to become vaccinated. Timber and Clinic are receiving regular deliveries of both AstraZeneca and the Pfizer vaccine. And we urge you to take advantage of this by making an appointment by phoning 555 0888. And we ask our community members to actually be patient. Be kind to those that are taking your phone calls. And remember that COVID vaccinations aren't the only thing that Timber and Clinic actually is dealing with at the moment. If you can't get through initially, just keep trying. Um, you can also get on the website and look at Southwest Healthcare, Colac Area Health, Hamilton is also offering Visor, um, Ararat, I know people around here. So there are opportunities. You may have to travel, that's unfortunate, but there are opportunities to get vaccinated. Yeah, it's just unfortunate with the um, yeah. deliveries of Pfizer yeah. and uh, that that's just... Uh... And that's not about the clinic not ordering enough. Mm. It's about what they are actually allocated. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, just take that into account. Take a deep breath when you actually go to make that phone call. Yeah, it's good to see people getting enthusiastic about booking in, but yeah, yeah just be patient and the, the clinic is doing the best job. they can in, uh, in getting people booked in and getting their vaccination as soon as possible. And in our spring quarterly, uh, which is distri distributed early this month, uh, we focus on uh, on uh, how we can assist in uh, a spring clean of our own body and get it checked out mentally and physically. Uh, and uh, that is very important, isn't it, Amanda? Yes, we need to take responsibility for our own health. Um, the pandemic has made us all a bit fearful of going into mm -hmm. a health care service, may have stopped us from getting our biannual breast screen, annual skin checkups, for example. But these are part of essential services and have continued throughout the pandemic. Our body is actually our temple and we must look after it. All could be okay, which means you can stop worrying. Or if there is something wrong, an early diagnosis is important and could be life-saving. Our Spring Quarterly reintroduces a great number of services that we have at TDHS and our clinic, something we can be really proud of. These services are available for our community to access some pending eligibility. Yeah, yeah, now when we put that together for the quarterly, um, yeah. yeah, it actually amazed me that uh, we had close to 30 services here, which is absolutely fantastic for a uh, small uh, healthcare service. So, uh, and they're there for the community to use. So please uh, book in and, uh, and get that spring clean happening. Now, thank you, Amanda, for highlighting uh, these important health awareness events with me. Thank you very much. Uh, our body is uh, a very important vehicle for experiences and we do often take it for granted, don't we? So um, it is uh, very precious and beautiful and uh, we really must look after it physically and mentally. And talking about mentally, on the 9th of September, it's Are You OK Day, um, a day that highlights the importance of having a conversation uh, and ask the question, are you OK? Um, especially with all these um, coming in and out of lockdowns and with restrictions. Um, and we often think that we know how people feel in the community, being in a small community. Uh, and we um, think we know that they're struggling, but uh, there's not always telltale signs. So uh, when you see someone in the street, just uh, ask, are you OK? Uh, and um, uh, yeah, the simple question and a conversation uh, has the power to change someone's life uh, for the better. 
uh, we can be in a listening ear and uh, at this stage a virtual shoulder to lean on. So please continue to be mindful uh, to yourself and others uh, mentally and physically and uh, let's make time to look out for one another and be kind and stay connected. Um, let's continue to work together for a healthy community and keep this community safe and open. Thank you very much and thank you Amanda. Thanks Sabine.